Oh, ho, 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 ho. today is a fun day. We are going to turn this gigantic bayliner turd into a wake boat. We're going to do that using this right here. Thanks to a little company, not so little actually, called Monster Tower. So this is the Monster MT1 wakeboard tower. And yeah, this is a sponsored video. I don't do a lot of these, but uh, you know, I, I like what they're offering. And so I reached out to them and I said, look, you know, I wanted to do a video to show a build on a basic, basic uh, wakeboard boat. This is not going to be something you're gonna win, you know, <laughs> competitions with, but you can take a seven, $8,000 boat like this, put a wakeboard tower on it and have a good time. Um, these are offshore built, uh, you know, but high quality towers and, and really nice stuff. The cool thing I love about this company though, is that they actually give support after the sale. You know, that's, that's why I picked uh, this company to work with and reached out to them in the first place is that they care, they care about the product and they want it to be good for you. So without further ado, let's get this box out. Let's see what's inside of there and start getting this thing put together. This is the actual wakeboard tower boat or wake, wakeboard tower box. It's pretty big, pretty heavy. So let me go put it over there and get it set up, and we will start taking a peek at it. All right, let's see what we got here. So this is the uh, the top, basically part of the uh, the tower. So this is the very top. That's the swivel for the rope, and um, yeah, right off the bat, really nice welds. I will say that very very nice welds. You know, it's obviously it's all aluminum, so it's all TIG welded, but you know, hopefully you can see that on there, but really, really high quality welds. I really like that. All right, so installation manual, from what I understand, is also quite good. This is not made by somebody overseas. This is a U.S. company, so it's it's written very well, uh, very thorough. Really something I love to see. Again, this is why I kind of focused in on this company. I didn't want to work with another one. This is a U.S. company. Um, that's a big deal to me. All right. So we got, I'm sure, a bunch of hardware right here. Oh, plenty of hardware there. And then we got four pipes right here. So that looks about what I figured it would look like. And we're gonna keep all this uh, plastic and everything on here just to protect it while we're putting it together. All right, so uh, a little bit later that night uh, from when I saw you guys earlier. So what I'm doing right now is actually laying out everything, starting the assembly. Uh, I just want to give you kind of an idea of what it looks like. The instructions are phenomenal, by the way. So really, really good instructions. Uh, so far, fit and finish is beautiful. Really like it. Um, and I just kind of laid out everything so you can see it right here. These are the front legs right here. Again, I'm keeping all the packaging on until the very end. Um, they even give you the Allen keys, the drill bits. I mean, this is a really complete kit. I really like it. Plus, I was in the, in the uh, manufacturing field for a little while. And I can tell you right now that the, the quality of these fitments are really high end. Um, they're, they're an alloy and they're, they're well, they're well machined. They're not, you can tell, like I actually, I put a caliper on this piece earlier and it's very precise in terms of, of the actual, like inside and outside dimensions. There's no, there's no slop on these pieces, which is really cool to see, you know? Um, yeah, I just, I just like seeing this kind of stuff. I like seeing like good quality stainless, you know, hardware and, and all everything included and everything. There's no missing washers. It's just it's just all done nicely. I, I love that. It's really, really nice to see. All right, so what I'm doing right now is laying out the actual um, placement of the, the pucks that are going to be here to hold the arms. Um, those are the aluminum pieces over there that I showed you earlier. Now, they say anywhere from 48 to 60 inches from the rear one to the front one. I like the wider stance look, just personally on this style boat, really on any boat. I don't like when they're when the legs are really close. I like them wide. So I'm going to do about 60 inches. And for me, 60 inches is right about here and right about here. Now, I just want to show you this little trick. It, it, it's, I wouldn't call it foolproof, but it does work fairly well. If your boat is symmetrical, uh, I'm going right off the, the front pillar of the window right there using a square right off the, the rub rail and getting a pretty good line right here. And I did measure, and although some boats are not very accurate in this regard, they, they kind of have bad measurements and they're wonky. Boats are not very um, symmetrical typically. They're, they're pretty poorly made actually. But anyway, I digress. Um, 
this one actually is symmetrical. I couldn't believe it. So from the rear to that corner and the other rear to that corner are the same. So I can use this method to get my pucks exactly where they need to be. Then once I have my front measurement, then I can just measure back, um, put another mark there, put a piece of tape and then measure up, measure up and I'm symmetrical all the way around. So just a heads up, just a little quick tip on how to get this thing laid out. That's what I'm doing. The other thing to keep in mind is I do have the bimini uh, that was included in this and they basically, so my rear seat, let me see here, boop, 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 boop. it's like right here is my rear seat. Um, and they tell you in the manual and I've seen them other times too, you don't want your rear post super far back or super far forward because the bimini actually mounts to the rear post. So you want that right around where your seats are, right? My seats are right about here. My post is gonna be about right here for the rear. So just keep that in mind while you're going through with this. Um, you want your rear post to be right around where the seat is. You can kind of tell what I'm saying here, right? So just a heads up on all that. All right, so next day, uh, you can see what I spent the night doing, just kind of assembling this thing. So I wanted to go over it real quickly. Um, these front two legs right here are identical. It doesn't matter which one you put on. This rear leg right here has a mating um, green sticker on one side and a green sticker on the mating side. So you know that this leg goes here. Uh, the bolts are, are just kind of obvious. I didn't really want to do a whole like build montage because it this thing's very easy to put together. Let me just start with that. It's it's very simple. The bolts are obvious. The holes are different. The sizes are different. So it's it doesn't take uh, much for you guys to, to go ahead and just assemble the, the, the tower. It is a little bit awkward, I will say that. So having another hand there to help you is good. I did not. Um, also, you wanna make sure you protect the legs. You know, Put something underneath all the legs uh, so that you're not banging them up and then keep the plastic on, right? So anyway, that's what she looks like. Pretty simple. Um, it's all assembled. Let's get to the drilling. Let's get to the boat itself. I took the cover off so you can see this gorgeous cheap boat. You know, look at this thing. I mean, you can't beat cheap boats, right? One owner. 270 hours, I believe. Uh, yeah, just a decent little boat, nothing crazy. But anyway, I digress. So these are the pucks. Um, I went ahead and just threw these on too because again, there's not a whole lot to this. Basically, like I said, you find where your, 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 your limit is. This is my measurement from the front over here, right? So we figured out where these were. We got them symmetrical on both sides. You put the backing plate up on here, mark it with a pencil, mark it with a pencil, pre-drill with an eighth inch hole, pre-drill eighth inch hole, and then go in with the, the drill bit that they give you. I believe it's like a three eighths or something like that drill bit. And also big thing here, guys, big, big thing. When you're drilling through the gel coat, it does say it in the manual, so no big deal if you, if you, you know, whatever. But always reverse your bit at high speed to get through this gel coat first, right? So while you're doing these big holes, especially, the little pilot holes don't matter, whatever, just bang them right through, it's fine. But when you're going with these big, these big holes, go on there in reverse at high speed to get through this gel coat completely. All right, so I lost my audio. Unfortunately, uh, my mic went out while I was doing this part. But basically what I'm trying to show you here is that you need to make sure you also do have some sort of access to the back side of where these bolts are mounting. Uh, on this boat, it's super simple. The one thing I will say about Bayliners is they just have tons of access. Um, and uh, it was not a big deal at all. As you can see in this hole right here, let me get a better shot, and there it is. So that's the back side of the backer plate, and it was super easy, just very simple to get to those. The one on the other side was a bit of a task uh, because the uh, glove box and some other wiring is there, but overall, very simple on this boat, super, super easy. Just make sure you keep that in mind. All right, so we're getting the uh, the tower on now. Definitely want one or two people. We're gonna hopefully get this, but we'll see. All right. So do yeah. So do the front first, I guess, and then I put the legs in a little bit on the back. Okay. Oh, right on the freaking ground. This is gonna be a pain. Yeah. You gotta come toward me. I can't. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Whew. All right. Let's get the. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, let's get the front in. Push the back here. Push the back towards me so it's inside. Inside. Push it towards me. Push that leg in. It's loose enough to do that. All right. Now we should be able to do that and then get the heim joint. Oh, I don't know if it's going to work, though. Can you? Yep, I can get mine. Can you get yours? Yeah. All right. All righty. Oh, I hope this fits. Good. 
Whoa. All right, so you're seeing it right there. It's, it's fairly simple. Uh, not a whole lot to it. As long as you got one guy, well, two, two folks that have some arms on them, it's not too bad. Uh, and with all the heim joints and everything that flexes on this thing, it is pretty damn simple to get this done. Uh, I guess the point of what I'm saying is it's easier than I thought it was going to be. The whole thing's been easier than I thought it was going to be. So good on Monster for making a good product, I guess. Thank you. No problem. All right, so now you see that the tower is on. Honestly, it's that easy. It's so simple to put this thing on. You see I have a level here. It's one of the many things I am going to attempt to use for this final step of the install to actually get the tower square, plumb, level, all that stuff. It's very hard to do. One of the things, biggest things I'll tell you about boats that I've noticed over the years, I've owned a couple of them, they're built like crap, all of them, especially bay liners, but many others are built like crap too. They're not symmetrical. They're not really built in what I would call a uh, precise factory <laughs> at all. It's crazy. I mean, you'll have two inch differences on like placements of windshields, for example, or cleats or logos, graph, whatever. It's it's piss poor is what I've seen on almost every boat manufacturer, even the even the nicer ones. Uh, it's just it blows my mind. The hardest part you're going to find with trying to square this thing up is the fact that there's nothing square to measure it to. <laughs> so good luck is what I'll tell you. But basically go by eye. Um, the other thing I'm, I'm going to do is 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 measure off of the windshield corner to corner, corner to corner. And then I'm also going to go level on the back of the boat and then level on the top bar and see where we're at. If all those kind of kind of get within, you know, 10, 15% of each other, I'm calling it a day. I'm drilling the rest of the holes and tightening everything up and I'm just gonna be done with it. So that's what I'm doing. Your results may vary, you know, do what you want, but that's, that's the way that's gonna work for me today. So let's get to it. So if I'm looking at this back right here, uh, you know, on, on the stern of the boat, I am almost level in my driveway, which is kind of cool. So. What we can do is go up here and just see where we're at. And I'm almost exactly where I was down on the driveway there. So I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with the fact that this bar is in fact perpendicular with that back of the you know the, the stern of the boat. Um, the only other thing I would be doing at this point is just checking, and again, there's nothing plumb or square or <laughs> even remotely similar about the, these dimensions on this boat. So this part is almost less useful, but it is what it is. I'm gonna try to hold that. Boom, 76, I'm pretty happy. All right, so that's gonna be the end of it for me, guys. I'm not going any further than that. I have similar distances, I'm level, I'm level, I'm done. I'm not, I'm not gonna hem and haul over this and uh, spend two days. This is not a rocket ship, I'm not, uh, this isn't NASA over here, so. Let's call it that. By the way, the guy who was just here before, the weirdo with the wetsuit, no nonsense, no how, Chris Brown, awesome guy. I'm in a couple of his videos. He's in a couple of mine. He's got a great channel. I'll put it in the description. Phenomenal dude, definitely go check him out. He's got an awesome channel. It's way, um, it's way underrated. It's, you gotta, go, you gotta go see what he's doing over there. Anyway. All right, so the last and final step of the actual install of the tower is there's two holes on these back corners here. Um, on this one, on the other one, there's one you go in from this way and there's one you drill in from this way and it's, it's blind drilled. So it's, it's, it's drilled on one side, but not on the other. And these are your set points. So once you do these, this tower is set, it's not going to move anywhere. And there's four more bolts. Those are the last four bolts you're going to use. And they're going to go, like I said, you're going to drill in from this side and then you're going to go around this side and drill in from that side, put the bolts in, you're done. Uh, the one thing I'll say too, is after you get that first hole done, I would go ahead and put one bolt in crank it down, crank the whole thing down at that point, everything, and then do the rest of the holes so you don't tweak it while you're drilling, okay? That's that's one thing I will definitely say is, is probably a good move. And in fact, I'm also gonna measure right now too and make sure nothing got thrown off, all right? That's what I got, catch you in a minute. All right, so I got the tower all done. It's mounted, it's square, the, the set bolts are in. Um, I'm really happy with it. That's the overall thing I wanted to say. We'll do an overview later after I'm done with the bimini top, but. So far in this part of the install process, super happy. So next step is the bimini top. Um, it's the over, over the rail bimini top, so it goes over the tower. Um, and I'm going to kind of just take it apart. And maybe if you want, we can time lapse this, but kind of self-explanatory, right guys? It's, it's a bimini top. Let me get these parts out. 
I'm gonna read through the, the manual. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm getting all the parts out right now. So far, really impressed. I think this thing's actually made in the USA. That's probably why the price is where it's at. Uh, it actually has real sumbrella, you know, for the, for the fabric. And the materials are just super high quality, nice finish. Uh, I did a video a couple years ago uh, on a on an Amazon bimini top and although it was decent it worked you could tell it was cheap in a lot of ways and you can also tell at the same time that this is not anyway let me get this a little bit more built uh, this is really simple I really don't see a point in actually showing a step-by-step -step on you know building this bimini it's it's right in the manual it's very simple it's dummy proof you can't screw this up the bows the bow tops are marked with the same number as the bow sides I mean you'll be fine You'll be good. The, the biggest idiot out there can do this if I can, right? All right, so let me keep getting this going. And then once we get to the boat, that'll be where I think we get a little more of the actual assembly that I want to video and, and we'll do it there. All right, get you in a minute. So next step, pull out the top and uh, I'll show you on the manual real quick. So this is kind of an install video. So I want to make sure I'm giving you guys the best info. The front is the flat side, so lay it out. And then with the bows, the other, the, the front uh, is the side that doesn't have the straps. So it's the side that has the, uh, the, 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 little, the little stubby arms on it. That's the front bow. And the front of the top is the flat side. So just keep that in mind while you're putting it together. Just like any other bimini top, you just got to kind of thread the bows into the top. All right. So we're all assembled. Let's go to the boat and start fitting this thing up. All right, so we're up on the boat now. Um, <clears throat> this part is the only hard part, really. The bimini top is, like I said, it's super easy to get together. You have two different types of mounts right here that come with the kit. One is a side mount with a bolt just straight into it like that. The other is a typical kind of swivel mount that you've seen plenty of times before. According to the directions, the swivel mount goes on the front tube 25 inches from this top weld right here, there's a weld right on this top, dot, the, dot, the, excuse me, the top of the bar right here. So 25 inches down on the front to the center of this weldment. Yeah. So 25 inches down, you're gonna, you're gonna use one of these uh, provided self-tapping screws right there. Uh, two of them, excuse me. And secure that in right on the front there. And again, it's it's not super critical because it does have a, a swivel. So if it's a little bit off, it's okay. But try to get it, you know, right towards the top of the of the bar there. Um, another thing I typically do when I'm using self tappers and stainless and aluminum and this and that, blah 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 blah. I usually use some sealant. I, I have some 5200, I think, some 3M 5200, which is a marine. Uh, <clears throat> I can't talk. I think I just ate a bug. I use uh, 5200, which is a marine grade uh, 3M sealant. And I think it's called fit. Yeah, I think it's called fit. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Just go get some good sealant. And what I'll usually do is as I'm as I'm screwing it in, before it actually goes into the aluminum, I'll just throw a dab right underneath inside each screw and then kind of set it in. Or sometimes if I'm pre-drilling, I'll I'll pre-drill and then put a dab of silica of the sealant inside of there and then send these home. So that way the sealant's not only holding the screw tight, it's also holding the weld tight. Excuse me and kind of doing a multitude of jobs. I kind of like that. That's to me, it's a good, I don't know. It's a good uh, assurance that you're doing things right. And in some manuals, they even tell you to do that. In this one, it does not, but um, probably because they don't want you to deal with that headache, honestly. Um, but it's, it's for me, it's not a bad move. All right, so these instructions are good. I'm just kind of giving you an overview. The front swivel mount, I'll just say it again, goes 25 inches down from the front, from the front weld on the front of the bar. That's the swivel mount, right? That's the front of the two of the of the of the, the top. The post mount that you see right here goes one and a half inches down from the back tube on the outside. So that's gonna be that this guy is gonna be right about there. Okay? Again, very simple. Mark your line, self-tap it, call it a day. This isn't, we're not building rocket ships here. The last one that you have to do are these eyelets. Uh, again, easy to do, it's not a big deal. These go further down on the back, so they're actually gonna go right here, and they're gonna be 11 inches from this weld right here down. So they're gonna be right around there somewhere, and that's where you're gonna secure the back of the, of the top down. So again, guys, not, uh, not horrible. So I'm not gonna, maybe I'll film this, but I, and I'm gonna have the vacuum on to collect the chips, and there's really no need for you to watch me uh, put tech screws in, so I'm just gonna get it done. 
I got all the other ones done. I'm just getting this last one done. Figured I'd show you. It's 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 wonky to work on these boats, you know, it really is. But uh, you, where there's a will, there's a way, right? So this is the 5200 I was telling you about. It's pretty good stuff. It's uh, fast cure, so I do have to work kind of quick with it. Um, but anyway, I put a little bit in the hole itself. And then I'll usually put a dab to, to hold on to the fitment itself as well. And I'm just going to use the tower to hold me. Then I'll just put my fitment right back on where the holes were. Kind of feel your way in there. No, no dirty jokes here, guys and gals. And then go ahead and send them home. Don't go crazy, though. These are tech screws in aluminum. These are stainless steel screws in aluminum. These can strip horribly easily, so be careful. Right till you feel a little bit of resistance, and that's it. It's all you need. Boom. All right, so we're getting pretty close here. So um, I'm about to put the top on. All the fittings are done. The eyelets are done. The studs are done. And the swivels on the front are done. Um, I did do 5200 sealant on all the holes before I put them back in. I screwed them. I drilled them, screwed them, pulled them back out, put the sealant in, and put them back in. So it's just it's an extra step I like to do. You don't have to. Do whatever you want. It's just what I do. Uh, for this next step, you're going to need a Phillips and a flat to get this guy on. Whoa. Whoa now. All right, so it's going on pretty well. These have Loctite in them, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, you know, that's always nice to see because I just don't want hardware flying off while I'm going down the river. Um, the fronts do not, and I don't love, you know, kind of how loose and how vibrating I know these are gonna be. And once it's tensioned, so that's the other thing too, I did do this exactly what the manual said, and you really gotta crank on this thing to get it on there, and once you do that, it takes some of that slack out, so it's a little better. But overall, I mean, beautiful quality. This thing is gorgeous. It's exactly what I wanted. The the space it's covering is exactly where I wanted it covering. I mean, I can't complain. So overall, super happy. Let's get it out on the water though and see what it really does. Hey, downstairs here. So today we are on the boat. We're getting uh, we're getting some newbies up actually. I cannot go right now because we don't have a qualified captain in here, and I just got some ink. So I'm going to be driving, and we got two newbies. One is behind the camera. One is his girlfriend. Say hi to Val. Give her a little love. There she is. Uh, but yeah, we're going to give the monster board, uh, wakeboard tower a try today. Um, so far, like I've said the whole time, really impressed with this thing. It's solid as a rock. You know, pull-ups are days. It's it's good to go. But we're going to, you know, give it a shot right now and see how it is. So without further ado. All right, first try. Let's go. So we had a little bit of success there. We got uh, we got Val up. What do you think? Good time. Good time. It was awesome. The noob got up. Unfortunately, like I said, I'm really I can't go in right now. Plus, we don't have another captain. But uh, I'm sure I will get to use it at some point. The, the the things I'm taking away from this though are that it's really a quality piece. I have to say that um, they're not paying me anything. They did provide the tower, but the reality is I would I would totally shred them if they, if this was a junk you know tower. I have no problem doing that. I did it to Garmin, so I would do it to a smaller company. But uh, the reality is it's really nicely built. There was no flexing. There was no. I was looking all around while we were towing her, and we were pretty much just sandbagging her because she's a newer a newer you know rider. And I was looking, and there was nothing flexing at all, nothing creaking. It was it was really solid. I'm really impressed and happy. I have no doubt when uh, more experienced folks like myself and my buddy Chris get up on here, it's going to do the same thing. So I'm going to call this video at this, but I'm sure you're going to see this tower again in future videos. Uh, we have another guy who is semi-pro who I couldn't get right now. He's in California, but he wants to come out, give it a try. So in a couple months, check back, and we're going to get another video going. But uh, yeah, overall, definitely big thumbs up. The Bimini is also really high quality. Definitely a big fan. Buy it all. Good stuff. Thank you, Monster. Appreciate it.